Hello student, you're welcome to our lesson of chemistry practicals. This is advanced chemistry practicals. We have different topics in our, our advanced, advanced chemistry practicals. So our topic for today, we are going to learn the redox reaction. We are going to learn redox, 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 Titration. We are going to learn redox titration. So, redox reaction evolves oxidation and a reduction reaction. So, be together within our class, listen carefully. And then you will understand about our lesson for today. And this is not the introduction. We are continuing with our lesson. If you, are, you have already seen me in different practicals, you can see this is not the introduction. So, our redox Redox titration. For today, our our reactants. I will show you the the chemical reaction, the chemical redox reaction between potassium permanganate and the hydrogen peroxide. You know potassium permanganate, student. You know potassium permanganate from the color appearance. And then another reactant, we have, we have hydrogen peroxide. Also, can I ask you, you know hydrogen peroxide? Potassium permanganate is this one. This is potassium permanganate. You can see this is pink color. That is potassium permanganate. Do you have C? Yes? Okay. And the uh, hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is colorless. It means it has a H2 oxygen 2. So our reactant today, I will show you the potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate. And uh, the second we have hydrogen hydrogen peroxide solution. So redox reaction takes place in acidic media. Takes place in acidic media. It means you have to initiate acidic media within our content. So this is the tradition. In order to have acidic media, we have to, to have another the solution which you are going to use to initiate to acidic media. Another solution we have sulfuric acid. We have sulfuric acid. Acid. That is our solution, our reactors we are going to use to show you the chemical reaction for these titrate and we will see the product, the molar ratio and then you will know the half reduction reaction and the half redox oxidation reaction. That is our first general introduction for our lesson. Let's go to the, the in case of titration, we have procedures. We know in titration we have one would be at the upper side in a burette and another will be in a 
conic flask at the bottom. So, an ice cube, which will be in a bullet, and which one would be in a conic flask. We have a conic flask here. And uh, we have a burette. We have a burette, this one. This is our burette. So, which one will be in the conical flask? And which one will be in the burette for this practical potassium permanganate and the hydrogen peroxide with the acidic medium by using sulfuric acid? Be together with me, you will see. I will show you which will be in a burette and the one which will be in a conical flask. Okay, in case of procedure, in case of procedure, the burette will contain potassium permanganate. The bureau to contain potassium permanganate means within a bureau. Within a bureau. This is a bureau. You can see this is top cook. This is a bureau. And this is conical. flask. So it means within a burette we put potassium permanganate. We put potassium permanganate within this one. It means this one will contain potassium permanganate. And then, after filling the bullet with potassium permanganate, we are going to pipe it. We are going to, to pipe it. Are we together? We are going to pipe it. We are using a pipe, or you can measure by using measuring cylinder in accurate measurement. Then you put a conical flask. This is conical flask. You put hydrogen peroxide. Then after pipetting hydrogen peroxide, then you put in a conical flask. You are going to add sulfuric acid. You are going to add sulfuric acid. Then you are going to titrate. It means here there is pink. There is a pink color of potassium permanganate which acts as a self indicator. And then we are going to titrate with this one. We are going to titrate with this one. It means this is the colors. This is a colorless solution. So it means pink color will be lowered to the conical flask and the ending point we will see on the patient. The ending point, end point will be a pink color. Pink color. You want to observe a pink color in your titration and uh, that is will be end point. Why end point was pink color? Because our uh, first our solution was colorless. So why is it pink color? The solution was pink color due to there is excess manganese because this is we are not included. This potassium are not involved in the reaction. We use this one. So it means 
when we are going to draw the solution from the period during titration, it means manganese 4 oxide is going to be in hydrogen peroxide. At the end of the, the reaction, titration, any point, we see the pink color due to excess of manganese 4 oxide. There is excess manganese 4 oxide. That's why is pink color. That is an important that is a procedure during the titration. So now you are going to see the chemical reaction half redox reaction or reduction, half oxidation, half reduction, and the general we see the overall reaction for our titan between potassium permanganate and the hydrogen peroxide. Do you understand about the procedure? I ask again, do you have understood? My fellow, you have an assault. You have an assault. You have seen this one. You have understood this. Okay, let's go to the molecular chemical equation for the reaction of redox between potassium permanganate or manganese 4 oxide and hydrogen peroxide with the acidity medium. Okay, let's go to the balance the chemical equation. We are going to translate our procedure and then we get equation for half reduction and oxidation and we are going to see overall reaction. When you put the conical flask, you pour hydrogen peroxide and then you pour sulfuric acid and then you fill the buret with the potassium permanganate. It means Sulfuric acid is going to react with it or to initiate acidic medium which will be, will be together with the potassium permanganate. It means potassium permanganate will take this one. It means it will be manganese 4 react with the ions of hydrogen that is acid and our product will be manganese 2 plus water that is the first equation and the second equation will be Composition of hydrogen peroxide it means it be hydrogen peroxide break to oxygen and hydrogen ions. That is the second. That is the second equation. It means this peroxide decomposes itself, and the acidic medium we are going to in the manganese four oxide. To manganese 2, this is colorless. That's why I have said there is an excess manganese for oxide because if there was no excess, we can't see pink color because after reduction, this was from manganese 4 oxide to manganese 2, which is the colorless. So in order to, to see pink, you have to, to add the excess amount of this one to see the pink color. I think we have together, we have understand about it on that procedure. So we have to take this one, balance this equation, and let's balance this equation. 
right? Are we together? My fellow, are we together? Okay. So it means we start with the one. We start with the one. We start with the one. It means Mountain is four oxides. They act with hydrogen. When you balance, when you balance this one, here oxygen there is the four. When you put the four here, the hydrogen ions, hydrogen B8, then you have to put eight here. This is positive, this is negative. Those are balanced in terms of element but uh, the, we have to balance ions in redox reaction here there is negative one here there is positive eight so it means eight minus one is equal to positive seven and here but there is two so here there is seven there is two so we have to balance in the side where there is high oxidation state so we are going to if it is eight we have to add how many electrons to add in order to balance with these two? Here to be two and here to be two electrons. Can you think? You have to add it means seven minus how many to get two? That is five. So we have to add. It. Five electrons. Then will be one minus two will be one. This is four. And this is so our ions are balanced. And this one, this is a half. Reduction reaction. This is a half reduction reaction. And then we remain with this the second. When you look this one, there is two hydrogen here. It means there is oxygen is two, oxygen is two, hydrogen is two. But in case of ions, is not, is not balanced or are not balanced. So we have to balance. Here there is there is no any ions, so we have to put. So it means half oxidation. Half oxidation will be this one. It means it will be this one. Plus electrons two you have to balance two electrons. It means two electrons Sorry, not two electrons. This will be negative. So we have to add where there is high oxidation state. It means we have to oxygen plus two hydrogen plus two two electrons. It means here there is negative, there is zero electrons, and here there is zero electrons. And then our element balance B and our ions balance. It means two plus negative two is equal to zero. That is how to balance half oxidation reaction. So, this is a half reduction and this is half oxidation reduction for hydrogen peroxide undergo oxidation 
and the manganese 4 oxide undergoes harmful reduction. I think you have understood about it from the first starting point up to now on harmful reactions. So apart from reactions, let's go to the how can you balance the overall ionic equation for redox reaction between potassium permanganate and the hydrogen peroxide. So this is a half reduction, this is oxidation, half reaction. Let's go to the balance D of our reaction. Over all reaction. Through this one. It means the first is manganese for oxide. Manganese for oxide. Negative plus eight hydrogen ions plus five negative is equal to negative two positive plus water. That is one. But there is this one. Hydrogen peroxide, composite to oxygen, that's the coefficient, plus hydrogen ions, which is 2, plus electrons, 2. So we have to balance this one, and then you know the, the molar relation between potassium permanganate and the hydrogen peroxide. Okay, I think you are together from here up to here. Those are the same, but now we are going to balance our, our reactions. We have to put this one and we will see what we consider here. We are going to look at the electrons. Here there is a 5 and here there is 2. So, in normal balancing redox reaction, it means this one will shift to this. It means it will be 2. And here it's going to shift to this side, will be 5. Then you are going to balance. It means this will apply to this all compounds. Here there is 4. And this will multiply to this reaction. So generally we are going to see this and this one will be two. Manganese four oxide plus this and this will be sixteen. Hydrogen ion. This and this one will be ten. You can put or you can cancel within your balancing. And when you multiply with this one, it will be ten. And this will be 10. So this one will cancel with this one. This and this one will cancel because they are the same. 10 with 10. I think we are together. Right? Okay, we proceed. So this is over. It means the product we have to come this side. This and this one will be multiplied plus 5 peroxide then we go to the product because the reactant is over we come back here again take 2 positive plus 2 times 4 is equal to 8 water oh instead of writing water starting with water you can 
We can start with this one also. The wrong side. Or you can start with this one. Whatever it is, you can start with this one. Or this one. Let's see you start with it. water. Water here. Plus. I mean, this is your. We come to this side. This and this one is equal to five oxygen plus ten hydrogen ion. Hydrogen ion. So it means when you pass, here yeah, there is two, here yeah, there is two. Oxygen, hydrogen, oxygen here there is eight plus here is eight, here there is ten, it means there is eighteen. When you come to this side, oxygen, here there is eight, here there is ten. So it means this is 18 balanced. Hydrogen ions, there is 16. Here there is 10. It means 26. But here this side there is 16. Here there is 10. It means 26. All are balanced. So more or less here. Here there is two more. Here there is five more. That's it. you have seen how we can balance from the procedure and then you reach at the end during your practicals and then the last is, is calculations. So according to our lesson for our time, was in this lesson to see how can you balance the redox reaction between potassium permanganate and hydrogen peroxide with the sulfuric acid as the acidic key medium. I think you have understood this potassium permanganate and the hydrogen peroxide redox titration. I think you have seen this is balanced the equation overall from half reaction oxidation to overall reaction. Do you have understood? Can you ask a question? Who is ready? I think you have understood from the first up to the last this question or this lesson and I'm sure you have understood it well. Can you ask the questions? at a certain time and then you will understand more. Thank you for contributing our lesson. Thank you for using your time. Another time for the same titration, we are going to learn how to calculate the volume strength of potassium peroxide. If you have a chance, if you have a chance, just to find a paper of from six in nectar, national examination, two and thirteen, or twenty and thirteen, and twenty and nineteen, paper chemistry, paper three, two, three A. You will see the question, you will be asked to calculate the volume. The, the volume strength of production of hydrogen peroxide. So another time we see here to solve that paper and you see how can you contribute on answering the all calculations. Thank you for your contribution. Our lesson was this one. Another time Another day will be together here.